Hi, in this video I'll tell you about Squareware 2.0, which is an open source Arduino based wearable microcontroller board. It's small, square shaped, and it's perfect for building a lot of different kinds of projects. Here is its size compared to a standard US quarter. At heart, it's basically an Arduino running at 3.3 volt, and it's designed to be sewable. In particular, it has large pinholes on the sides, which make it easy to sew onto textile and fabric with conductive threads. You can also solder wires directly onto the pins, or solder snaps onto the pins, which will make it easy to quickly attach or detach from fabric. Squareware 2.0 packs a lot of useful features. It has a built-in mini USB port, which can be used for uploading a program, charging lithium batteries, or creating a serial communication channel. It has a bright color LED. Let me turn off the ambient light so the colors show up better on the screen. It has a power switch, a general purpose push button, a buzzer that you can use to make sound. It also has a light sensor, a temperature sensor, and three MOSFETs for driving high current load. It also has an onboard rechargeable lithium coin battery to help power your projects right away without any external power supply. Every time you plug in the mini USB cable, it charges the coin battery automatically. When the battery is fully charged, the green LED will turn off. This coin battery has about 45 milliamp hour capacity. If you need a higher capacity battery, you can remove the coin battery and then instead plug in an external lithium battery through this battery jack. The built-in lithium charger, which is this little chip here, can charge either the coin battery or the external battery. Last year I introduced the first generation of Squareware, and that was based on Microchip's 14K50 microcontroller. Over time I've received requests from users to make a similar board based on the Arduino. And this is what inspired me to develop a Squareware 2.0. This new version has 8 digital pins and 4 analog pins. It has an 80 mega 328 microcontroller running at 3.3 volt and 12 megahertz. Now unlike the standard Arduino, it does not have a separate USB serial chip. Instead, it simulates USB functionality in software by using the VUSB library. This provides a lot of flexibility. For example, I just mentioned that it has USB bootloader and serial communication capability. You can also use it to simulate mouse, keyboard, or other human interface devices. Now let me walk you through some examples to show you how to use Squareware 2.0. First, to enter programming mode, plug in a mini USB cable, then press and hold the push button while turning on power. Squareware will now bootload into a USB ASP programmer. Then in the Arduino software, select the Squareware 2.0 as the board. And now you are ready to upload a program. Basically any Arduino program can be uploaded to Squareware. Let's select the blinking LED example. This example toggles digital pin 13. Since the digital pin 13 is internally wired to the blue channel of the LED, you will see that once the program is uploaded, the blue LED will blink at about 1 Hz. 
Next, let's try the button example. Now, on Squareware 2.0, the button is internally connected to digital pin number 4. So in the program, let's change the pin number to 4. Also, we will add the line here to enable the internal pull-up. Again, to enter programming mode, first to turn off the Squareware, and then press and hold the push button while turning it on. Now upload the program. And here it is, the button example. Now let's try the buzzer. On Squareware, the buzzer is internally wired to pin number 9. So let's change the pin number in the program accordingly. Then upload the program. Next, as I mentioned, Squareware also has built-in light sensor and temperature sensor. The light sensor is basically a photoresistor here. I've uploaded a demo program that sets the LED blinking speed based on the light sensor readings. As you can see here, the blinking speed indeed changes depending on how much I cover the light sensor. You can also combine the light sensor and the buzzer to make a more interesting project, such as a music box. So every time you open the box, you will hear a tune. And then when you close the box, the tune will stop. In the next demo, I will set the color of the LED based on temperature sensor readings. At normal temperature, the LED is green. Now as the temperature rises, the red LED will start lighting up. And when it cools down, the blue LED will light up. So you can make use of it to build the temperature aware projects. Next, I want to show you the MOSFET pins. On Squareware 2.0, pins 3, 5, and 6 are internally wired to MOSFETs. And these pins can be used to drive high current load, such as a string of parallel LEDs, a motor, a muscle wire, or a heat wire. For example, here is an LED heart made of 12 parallel LEDs. To turn on full brightness, it needs more than 100 milliamps of current. A single microcontroller pin can only drive about 30 to 40 milliamps, which is not enough. Using the MOSFET pins, it can drive a much higher amount of current, and so the LED heart will look much brighter. Similarly, if you have a buzzer or speaker, the sound will be much louder if you use the MOSFET pins versus the normal microcontroller pins. Here is another example. It's a toy motor with the operating current of about 150 milliamps. You can't drive it directly with a normal microcontroller pin, but you can do so with a MOSFET pin. 
And let me turn off the light so you can see the rotation by the LED. And you can also use the pulse width modulation to control the speed. Now each MOSFET can drive up to 250 milliamps and you can combine the three of them together to drive up to 750 milliamps of current. So that's pretty powerful. In this last example, I have attached a square wire at the back of an LED matrix. This matrix is made of 35 individually addressable LEDs. With this, I can make all kinds of patterns, icons, or use it as a name tag. So that's all I wanted to show. As a quick summary, Squareware 2.0 is basically an Arduino board that comes with a lot of useful components and is in a form that's sewable. It has a USB port and a built-in lithium rechargeable coin battery. You can use it for a variety of different projects and it's a great platform to learn Arduino programming. You can find out more about the project, including the schematic and source code, at the homepage www.sqrware.com. I would be glad to hear some comments and suggestions from you. Thank you for watching this video.